Welcome back to Arizona Midday. Imagine you're only 11 years old and your world is blowing up around you. Amid violence in the streets of your hometown, you flee to America. Well, Destry sat down with author Angela Nazarian about her book, Life as a Visitor. Thanks so much for coming on. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a very powerful story. Why did you decide to write this book? I actually started writing um, some stories for my kids. I have two boys, aged 17 and 14, and they were born here. And thankfully, all they've ever known is a sense of security and stability. And I really wanted them to get a sense of history and heritage and where their grandparents and parents came from. Okay, and tell me about your story and your life and why you had to leave at 11. Well, what happened was shortly after I turned 10, um, a lot of things that you actually see right now in Iran going on with a lot of uh, riots um, were happening. There was a lot of violence going on. And I already had two older brothers who were studying in Los Angeles. And because of the extreme violence in Iran, my parents decided that I should go there for a two-week visit to visit my brothers. And that two-week visit ended up becoming a 31-year stay here. And um, unfortunately, my parents couldn't make it until five, five and a half years later. Wow. How did your, experience, your parents explain what was happening? And I can't imagine being around that violence. You see it on TV, I know. but I can't imagine living in it. Especially as a young kid. It's right. very terrifying. It's very, very scary. And, you know, my parents kept saying that it's a temporary thing. So we were thinking that, you know, probably in a few months we'll be back again. Um, but um, at the same time, I do think that it was one of the luckiest things that happened to my family, that we're here and we got a chance to start all over again and build a new life for ourselves. Um, what was it like, though, coming here um, under the circumstances that you did? Well, I think that the scariest part is that you come here and you have to get accustomed to a new language, new way of doing things. And that takes a while for you to, to adjust. As an 11-year-old, I went to sixth grade. And then you have to find a whole set of friends and learn a new language. But at the same time, I think after a couple of years, I really started feeling like I, I could um, interact with people. And I developed uh, a sense of belonging to my own community there. What were some of the social customs that you kind of had to learn that were oh. different and new? Well, it's really funny because I, um, I always, you know, in Iran, even at that time, the Six Million Dollar Man, um, uh, the Bionic Woman, these were the shows that I used to see. I Love Lucy were the mm -hmm. shows that I used to see. And here I come to Los Angeles and I run into Marie Osmond. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get to meet Lucille Ball's daughter, which oh, is wow. really interesting. Uh -huh. And what I noticed is that even back then, that Americans tend to be very extroverted, they smile a lot, they're very friendly, they're more direct, Iranians tend to be more subtle in their ways of talking, and also in Iran, girls would hold hands and they would show their affection in, in a very, very expressive way, where here in the, on the playgrounds, girls wouldn't be exactly hugging each other and holding hands, That's so there's a lot of things that I learned in the beginning. Do you miss it? I absolutely miss Iran. I mean, I haven't been back for 31 years. I hope that there will be a chance that I could go back, especially with my kids. Mm -hmm. um, and then I get the opportunity to see the country through my kids' eyes and also to go back and see my neighborhood and the schools. Now, what do you want people to take away from life as a visitor? Well, I really think the whole story behind life as a visitor is that we have much more in common than we really think. It doesn't matter if you're coming from the east or the west. There are certain commonalities, which is that we, li we live to have meaning in life, and we love one another, and we want to make connections with each other. And as long as we are our own true self, we can make those kinds of connections. Well, it is great to have you on it. Wonderful book. For more information about it, you can go to AngelaNazarian.com.